Hello everybody, I'm the CNC Repairman and I've got my brother-in-law Ruben here from Woodland Stewardship. He does a lot of tree climbing, a lot of arborist work, and he could not find a review online of these saws. So we figured we'd make one and he has quite a bit of experience with it. This is his nice saw collection. So Ruben, tell me a little bit about your saws. Well, this is the first one we got. It's been out for a while, the XCU08. And I wasn't super happy with that, it was okay. And then we got this XCU06, the 18 volt version. I've been pretty happy with that, but I've been watching this new 40 volt, the GCU01. It's been in New Zealand and a few other places, but it just came to the US a couple months ago and I grabbed one and I've been using it for a couple months and I've been quite happy with it. So I wanted to compare it to this older version. What about this one here? This is the one I got for my, we got for my sister. It's, it's similar to this guy and just real convenient rear handle saw for easy starting, not have to worry about gas for my sister to run around in the trees. So this is for climbing in a tree, right? Not yeah, gonna be so, doing this on the ground? Yeah, I really like, we use these actually quite a bit for feeding the chipper. It's just because they're real convenient, get those couple branches off that aren't wanting to go through the chipper, but yeah, we really like them in the tree. You know, they're pretty light and easy to start. Okay, well let's, let's weigh them, but tell me real quick about what it's like climbing with these saws. Is weight a big issue? Yeah, that's the main thing we didn't like about this. For the power and the weight, it just wasn't there. It's too heavy for the power you got out of it. And I haven't weighed them, but we're gonna compare it to this guy. And I, I think the difference was enough that I really like this one. So this one takes a 40 volt battery, but all of those take the 18 volt? Yeah, so these two here, are 18 times 2 for 36 volt and this guy we actually use quite a bit it's a single 18 volt battery so it's real light but you know for pruning bigger dead wood you don't want to sit there all day with your hand saw it works great but it's just not there for removals or anything bigger all right well let's see what they weigh we'll start with this one here GCU01 where the battery it's got charged battery and a full oil tank just comes in at what six and a half pounds I think it's nine and a half, you're upside down. I guess I'm not too good at reading. Let's try the next one. Let's throw that Compare one Compare that to the real little guy here. Seven and a half, so a couple pounds lighter there. Let's try here the big one with the double batteries. So 12 pounds, so quite a bit heavier than this guy. And I'm gonna put this guy's bar on here so we just get a real even comparison between these two because they're the ones I want to compare. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now they got the bar on the 36 volt top handle. We'll weigh it. And 11 pounds, we're coming, so a pound and a half heavier than the XGT 40 volt. But a couple things I noticed is it's quite a bit bulkier and I do think we get a little more power out of this XGT but we'll compare that in a little bit of cutting. Is there any difference on the back here where these D-rings click? Yeah so one thing I really liked about the little 18 volt is the D-ring flips up so when I go clip it on my belt it stays in place and on the XGT I go to clip it on my belt and I'm trying to close the D-ring and I have to gloves on especially it's hard to get it back open to get it clipped back on my belt and another weird thing about this little 36 volt is it has this boost mode and I for me personally I could never tell the difference of the extra power they kind of eliminated that on all the subsequent models and you need a tool to tighten up the chain on all three of them yeah all three of these take a bar wrench and the little top rear handle actually had a tool list, which is nice, but um, good thing about the nut is it's nice and secure and a solid system, but a little slower. Well, let's go cut some stuff. Okay. So I'm going to try this XGT 40 volt out. Um, I'm not going to put my earplugs in, but we'll read it on the decibel meter. 
and see if that's a good idea or not. But it's definitely not as loud as a gas saw. Earplugs on or chaps. Can't do it. And it was too loud. And this is my mom's tree. You can't have it. <laughs> can't have it. Well, cut it anyhow. Too late now. It's critically damaged. That's a hundred decibels. That's a lot. Well, what we have right here is Reuben cutting a tree. Timber! Here it comes, right over on you. Came in around 80 decibels. What do you think, Reuben? Yeah, Be you. right back after the break. That's right. Please like, hit, share, and subscribe to all of my videos. Okay, that was easy. Uh, my speaking volume's around 80, so it's it wasn't very loud. So. I definitely don't notice, which is really nice in the tree. And when you're trying to talk to people and you're making short term cuts, this one works really well. That's the difference I noticed about these 40 volts and the 18 volts and the 36 volts is they don't like the cold. I haven't had any trouble with the 40 volt in the cold. Ah, forget <laughs> it. You gotta figure out how to turn this on. and they do all right, but I've never had that trouble with the 40 volt. Boost mode activated. Three, two, move KGB. <laughs> hey KGB. Three, two, one. Again? Okay, again, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Three, two, one. <laughs> I think it's the user of the saw. Okay, here you go. Three, two, one. Cheater! Oh, okay. Cheater start over. Okay. Start New over. Curve. Three, two, one. It's definitely just me. <laughs> Do it again. One more. <laughs> they cut the wood, it gets done. <laughs> this is typically used to measure spindles, but it'll work for a saw. About 102 decibels on the Richter scale, that puts it about an eight, so hold on. Richter scale, right? Okay, we'll run it one more time. Pull up to about my head height. Okay. Let's see. I think we peaked at about 98 decibels. Considerably quieter than a gas saw. So Ruben, what's your final takeaway? One thing I did notice about this saw though is I haven't quite figured out when it decides to let the light off and shut you off. Sometimes you have to re-push the button. I haven't figured out what exactly, how it decides how long it should be turned on for. So what's your favorite saw if you had to buy one? I definitely like this saw. I've used the Husky 540i. It's pretty nice saw and probably a little more saw than this, and I think weighs pretty similar, but I think this comes in about half the price. And Makita for a drill tool brand, they have pretty nice ergonomics on their saws versus some of the other brands. They're not really designed like a actual tree saw, where these, they've got their anchor, and they've got pretty good ergonomics and balance, and I definitely like them in the tree. So you go with the 40 volt over the 18 volt. 
Yeah, but I haven't actually hardly used this one too much. And you saw it did. Don't it, tell him that. It. <laughs> I just it was just too heavy in the tree. But you saw it did pretty comparably power wise. But that extra pound and a half, I really noticed, and I've been pretty happy with this guy. I've took down like a 70 foot fur with this, limbed it all up, took the top out, all on one battery. So the battery's done pretty, pretty good life on them. And that's a four amp hour. You can get bigger or smaller, but I think that's a good size. That's what it comes with. Very good. Well, hope you enjoyed the review here of our saw. Thanks for watching. Check out Ruben as well. Woodland Stewardship.